Comprehension. How to show what you know. One of the most useful things that you can do is to summarize a text. Many times when you're done with um, a certain article, you might want to share what that article was mostly about with a teacher or a friend, but they don't want to hear everything that was in the article. Otherwise, they would read the article themselves. One rule of thumb is you want a short, about a 10 word summary that can tell someone what the article is mostly about and that allows them to read more if they're interested. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you is a definition of what summarizing is. Summarizing is when you briefly retell the central idea and maybe an important detail from the text. And you're going to use your own words. It says, for informational texts, true stories, you want to include those um, most important details and that central idea. And for fiction, you might want to think about including the set, or I should say the setting, the characters, the theme, the lesson in the story, and any sort of problem resolution that might be inside. So let me give you an example and then I'll take you into an example that I would like you to work on for me. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to summarize water shapes the earth. And I have a couple of clues. If it is a true story, right, an article in a magazine or in this case our mentor text, look at the title because the title does a lot of that same work telling you what it's mostly about. This story is mostly about water shaping the earth. Well, I love those words. I might just add a little bit more to it. And where would I find a little bit more? Well, my second clue is to look in the first paragraph. Usually in the, four, or the first paragraph, the author is going to make their case. They're going to tell you what they're planning to do with the article. So I'm going to read this over and then I'm going to go through. I'm going to pick like four words that I think are super important and I'm going to use them to summarize the article. Water shapes earth. Two thirds of earth's surface is covered by water. Water is in rivers, lakes, and oceans. And over time, moving water wears down rocks. This is called weathering. When water picks up and moves soil, sand, rocks, and other things on earth's surface, it's called erosion. So think about weathering and erosion as being very important words, earth and water being important words. So I'm going to circle some of those and then I'm going to try to weave them together using my own words. I'm going to do water. I like that one. Um, I like the word erosion. I thought that was a good one. That's two. I like the word um, shapes. Um, and then I want something about the land or the earth, right? So I could say earth if I wanted to, or if I wanted to change it, I could say surface instead. But let's say I'm just going to use those words. What I would do is I would think about it and I would use connective words like the and 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 in and why, right? To make it make sense. But I'm going to use these words to summarize the story. And I might say, um, this story is mostly about how water erosion shapes our earth. Done. Right? You just choose a few important words and put them together. Now, it really does matter, though, because I could choose the wrong words. Um, let's see. Thirds called things pick. And then I could say Things pick called third. Is that what this story is mostly about? No. So you have to pick important words. Look at the title. That'll give you a good clue. Look at the first paragraph. But you're going to have to use your best judgment as to which words make the most sense. I will give you a hint. If they make a word italicized or bold, that's usually a great one to pick. All right, there's one more thing I want you to do for me. 
Um, in Seesaw today, you are going to read an article. It's called The Power of the Sun. After you read the article, you're going to circle four important words and write me a short summary for this text. Hint, look at the title. Maybe focus on the first paragraph. And then send it my way. I can't wait to see your work. Thanks now.